How are you doing? I'm Adam. David. David. I'm Rick. How are you doing? Rick. David and Rick. Yep. Hi. Sarah, nice to meet you. <laughs> Come on in, guys. All right. Lots of stuff still happening around here. Oh yeah. It's pretty awesome on the outside, I gotta tell you. Thank you. Yeah, we uh, just took about four months to be here on the outside, so. Oh yeah. Long time. Oh yeah. Have you guys seen the inside yet? No, I have not. Oh, okay. I have not been in here Come yet. It's even better in here. How you doing? Hi guys. Hi. Right. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, <laughs> Here's the inside. So we've got the mural done all along the entire, pretty much the entire restaurant. All right. You guys saw that on your website yeah. too? Yeah. Online good. ordering. Yeah. Everywhere. Everywhere we can. So some didn't charge the battery. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> no, I made a point to do that. We've yeah. been we've done that before. Yeah, okay. we have done that before. Yeah, yeah. There's been That's the time the that we've actually had to tape an episode. My phone. Remember the very first episode we ever taped of this thing. We actually lost the footage and ended up having to redo it a couple weeks later. So it was that actually sucks. yeah. So the, that sucks. It was a it was an organization called Turn Away No Longer. They ended up actually uh, ending up being like what the second or the third episode. Okay. Because we literally lost all that footage. Oh man, that yeah. sucks. It's, it's but just, you live and learn. Oh, you yeah. do. You do. You yeah. Learn. This has always been back in the day when I was in college. I used to have a typewriter, mm -hmm. and if I mess up something, I had to get typewriter correction ink. I don't know if anybody. You, oh, you I know exactly that. what that is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The white out and everything yeah, else. Yep, out, so, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, now it's just a delete. But back then, no, a little different. Yeah. I know that uh, with a uh, po college project that I worked on, um, one of the things was is that they gave me that white out bottle and said you had to learn, figure out a, a distinctive way to sell it. Yeah. And so it was a final project. So what I ended up doing is I ended up getting a big trash can and we actually made the trash can look like a white out oh, bottle. Oh, no way. That's awesome. And that's actually, a, yeah, yeah. That's, so, that's a good idea. One of my friends ended up actually turning around in the crosswalk where that was. His final project, he ended up actually taking one of the stripes and making it ultra white and putting oh, a Mr. Nice. Cleanly logo on it because that was his <laughs> cool. That was his project. Good. So that was easy then. Yeah, it was kind of wild. Pass it down. Yeah, exactly. Good. Good. So how how long has it been open? We've been open for twenty years. Okay. Twenty years since two thousand late two thousand two, two thousand three. So we've been here for quite a while. Here we've been open here since last June. But we had a we had a trailer, a smokehouse, like on wheels for three years. And then we moved to the front of this building, which was only 3,000 square feet. We were there for about 14 years, 15 years. I was counting, right? And then we've been here for about a year, so. Okay. I bet that I've been here for about a year and this, yeah. That had yeah. to be wild coming in with COVID and everything. Oh, it was it was a rough year last year. Yeah, yeah. Last year was a rough year. We expanded, put all our eggs in that basket. We, we put all our money, all of our savings for 20 years into this project. And lo and behold, here stuff. comes the COVID. That's yeah. going to shut down the planet. Yep. So we had to literally overnight, we had to figure out how to revamp our structure, our business, really. I mean, we, we did takeout only. We, we did it at a window. We did it inside the restaurant. We did it outside the restaurant. We didn't take cash this day. We didn't take credit this day. We didn't take tips this day. It was a, it was a nightmare. But right. Yeah, looking back, we got through it. It was not and not single employee lost their jobs. Everybody That's held their up. jobs. That's um, what's up. We actually hired a couple more people during COVID. That's kind of wild. I ended up doing the same thing. Yeah, I was actually. Uh, it, it seems like a lot of businesses either pivoted, or they ended up shutting down. Yep. Or somehow they grew in the middle of it. Right. If we wouldn't have expanded at that time of the year, um, we probably would have had to shut down. But we only stayed open because we had to. We had to pay the bills. We had to run our restaurant. We made right. no money last year, yeah. but we just we, we operated at a break-even point. We paid our employees, paid our vendors, and now we're sort of we're getting busier now. So hopefully we can make some money this year. We're did the government at least help out with no, anything? No, 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 no <laughs> neither did I. Yeah, but it was yeah, no. yeah. I was basically told that I, I didn't uh, suffer a big enough loss for me to yeah same with us yeah, yeah. it was so like, we, huh? just, we, <laughs> just like we knew we were on our own yeah okay. it was like i ended up opening up like five different divisions in the yeah. same time yeah. it was insane i know it's rough but we made it through that's right. now we're cranking away so that's pretty awesome uh, we're building an ice cream store in the front of the restaurant so that should be open in three weeks uh, and uh we're cranking away here we get a lot of business from grand park down the street here mm -hmm. so uh, we're, we're counting on it this year 
I think you guys are going to be all right. Yeah. We're going to actually produce you guys a commercial free of charge. Oh, cool. Thank That's you. That's what we're going to give you we'll for being on the show. We'll have to buy you a couple show. lunches. Well, how about that? <laughs> <laughs> you guys got to eat. We won't. Yeah, That's right. We won't that. turn that down. That's right. You got to eat. eat. That's right. <laughs> Don't tell Jennifer. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell my dad. He loves this place. Okay, great. Right, right. Don't right. say a word. Don't say a word. Right. Yep. So it's actually pretty wild. So, I mean, not... It, What's your plans for expansion for the future and everything? Uh, we're going to stick with this for a while because we we uh, we're a big place. We're eight thousand square feet, and that's pretty big for a restaurant. We'll have uh, another two thousand square feet for patio here. We're going to redo our patio in front, so we'll have two major patios anchoring the building. The ice cream store will, will hold about fifty people, so that's our expansion. We'll redo the parking lot. We're redoing the whole the whole area. The whole area, right? So uh, that's uh, we're gonna we're gonna pull back after that. We're, what makes us special over other barbecue spots? I think uh, we just do, do things differently here. We have different menu items, creative menu items that uh, are pretty bold and different. We took a chance about 13 years ago uh, making these crazy menu items, making these uh, off the wall sort of creativity driven menu items that people weren't used to. Uh, and out here, a lot of uh, Hoosiers were used to just brisket and pork and chicken, just the typical barbecue fare, which we still have, but we wanted to take that to the next level and take a chance. It was a big risk for us, right? but people trusted in us, people believed in us. We put a lot of specials out there with different ingredients. So it, uh, over time, it, it proved to, uh, to work for us. And now uh, that's pretty much half the sales that we have here are our specialty items. All the specialty so, items. But it's fun to create. It's fun what are some of the that. specialty items? Uh, we do something called the Hoffernator, which is one of our best sellers. It's like a loaded fry pork and ranch dressing and barbecue sauce, mac and cheese, all on fries. But it's not just the combination. Anybody can make the combination, but it's what goes into that mac and cheese. It's what goes into the homemade ranch dressing and what goes into all those ingredients that make that a special taste. And all those are made right here on- Everything on, on premises, premise. everything made in house. We do something called the amendment. It's the better rice with brisket, teriyaki sauce, spicy mayo, uh, jardinera with like a pickled uh, radishes and, and different veggies on top. So. It's just a different flavor for people. And that's what I think is uh, is driving people to come back to our place because now they trust us in the food that we make. Right. So it's, it's nice. It's nice to, to get the trust from the customers and then expand on uh, other menu items. So if a barbecue style, like some people say Memphis style, some people say Texas style, some people say Carolina style, right. what style would you consider yourself? I think we're more of a hybrid. We don't hybrid. really have, because my cooking expertise comes from California. So, oh, so this is going to become a Hoosier style. Yes, a Hoosier style, exactly. Okay. But we don't have, we don't say we're Texas style because if, if a customer doesn't like Texas style, they won't give they you won't a chance. They won't give you a chance. If it's, not, if it's not mesquite wood or hickory wood, there's so many rules. Right. We figured, you know what, let's just put something great together and have uh, people be the judge. And they've judged us. They've judged us and, yep. and we've done well with it. But yep. we stick with our hybrid style. Some people compare us to a Southern style because we have a good Southern sweet tea that we make. Um, our sauce is a sweet sauce, tomato base. Not to say we won't ever make a vinegar sauce or anything else or a mustard based sauce. We can do it all. We just have to stick to something. Uh, if it's so. not broke, don't break it. Exactly. Or fix it. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Exactly. You know, if you try to fix something that's not broke, you end up breaking it. Yes, you don't exactly. fix anything at that point. That's right. So <laughs> it's, it's worked out well for us. So. That's but we continue awesome. to innovate, we continue to create new menu items. And when we do specials, people, people go crazy for them. So we, we keep it up. That's pretty yeah. awesome. That's pretty and awesome. We did a smash burger a couple of weeks ago. Sold out in two days. Sold 180 smash burgers in two days. Didn't expect that. And that was a great hit. So we'll bring that back. Just all these crazy things we like to do when we have time. So You know, that's the thing about it is that you, you just got to try something different. I mean, there's a need in the marketplace for something different yeah. all the time. I agree. People want things different. Yeah. They're tired of mundane and normal and everything else. They're tired of being stuck in the house. I agree. They want to come out. Yeah. I agree. So this is actually really cool to see this as an environment right here. Thank you. And it's actually not that far from Noblesville, not that far from Indianapolis, not that far from Kokomo. Yeah. So, you know, it's definitely within striking distance. And actually, it's not that far from Anderson either. Nope. So like a good barbecue joint is never a far drive. No, <laughs> no, no. I, yeah. I may have been guilty occasionally of driving possibly an hour and a half to possibly two hours for certain food items yeah and pizza longer i mean i drove all the way up to chicago for that oh so. it's worth it yeah we yeah. go to chicago as well for different kinds of foods so. oh yeah yep. yeah we love it but you know what that's actually what's neat about this is that there's a lot of cool places that are right here in indiana yeah. 
right here in central Indiana that we don't have to go out all over the place to go find right. those places. Right. And some of these places are better than the other places that you can find in any of these other communities. I agree. Well, a lot of the anchor stores open in downtown Indy because that's where a lot of the, a lot of the mm -hmm. crowd comes in for traveling. But the small towns like us out here in Westfield, we have some good joints out here, some good places. So, But people have to just find them. They have to try them and give them a chance. Well, that's so, the reason why we have them watch the funded project. So that's right. Know where it's all at. <laughs> that's right. It definitely <laughs> helps. It definitely helps. Yep. That's yeah. pretty awesome. So. Uh, if you would think of one thing that you could change, uh, you know, community wise to bring more traffic in, what do you think it would be? Well, I don't really know. I, I think that the people will make it here. People actually come from far to, to eat our food here. We'd love to have a roundabout in front of our restaurant here because <laughs> there's a lot of traffic accidents here. Uh, but uh, I don't know. I think just uh, I, I think Westfield's a growing town. It's a great city. You know, people are coming to live here. People are coming from other places to live here. It's a great town. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think the city does a great job in, in, in luring people here. I think it's a, it's, a, it's a good place to live for families. A lot of restaurants are popping up. Listen, if I, if I could duplicate myself, I'd open 10 restaurants in Westville. But uh, I'm only one person. And right. we have a great crew that works for us. And they do a great job. But there's only so much we can do for our, our, you know, as a restaurant here. Right. Uh, but I think the city's on a good path. I think we're, we're doing well. Um, and uh, we're excited about the growth of the, of the city and the expansion of, of everything around us. Because right. every every week I see something new in the city because people mm -hmm. are understanding that Westfield is the place to be. Right. And they've been very good to us. Westfield's been great to us the last yep. 14, 15 years. Yeah, they seem to be moving up uh, further north in Noblesville now. Yeah. So it seems like, you know, Madison County, northern Hamilton County. Yeah. These are the places where... Yeah. We're seeing a big a boom in construction and oh, yeah. infrastructure all coming up. And yep. unfortunately, some of the roads up here are not geared to handle all of that because Westfield was a small town, was a small speck of a town, of too. It was had, you know, literally at one point, just one traffic light, yep. you know, that went through it. And yeah. I remember back in the day when it was Fast Freddy's over there by where the apartment complexes was. This was a drive between, there was a drive between Carmel in Westfield, and there was some countryside in between there that's no longer there. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, but it's good. A lot yeah. of people are against expansion, but it's, it's it good is actually city. good for the city. It's great for the city. We love it. We love it. And the more people that move here, you know, the better it is for all the places around here that are opening businesses. So, we're, we're happy with it. It yeah. is. So, where's this barbecue pit at? Where's outside. We have two smokers outside here. Yeah, yeah, we smoke and we have a smoker in front. So we actually have three smokers. Let's go have us a little peek yeah. at some smokers here. Let's go take a look. So, those are cooked. All day. Another smoker over here, but back here, back in this area here, these are both the smokers back here. So we uh, we cook everything back here. Punch load on the side there. We have one up front too that we cook on. But these are the main these are the main uh, smokers that we have here. Done right too with the wood. Oh yeah, for sure. I'll show you around the back of the house. Yeah. Customer will come into the restaurant here, place the order for the line here, a bunch of beer. So that's our new, uh, this is our new place we're opening here up front. Stuck with the same pirate logo. Uh, I've had fun with it, right? Um, well, yeah, this is, uh, this is, this is the spot. Well, we, made, we, we made a really large kitchen because we do so much catering. We built a 4,000 square feet kitchen. Our last kitchen was 400 square feet. Oh, yeah. So we really expand. We have about 150 seats. So the new ice cream place will go through that door back there. So the customers that are eating the big hop is in the restaurant here can just walk straight through and get ice cream on that side when, when they want dessert. So. Is that open yet or? Not yet, we're working on it right now. As we speak, we're working on it. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, let me get the key. Uh, so this is, yeah, more seating over here. Hand washing uh, station for the guests, which came at a perfect time for COVID. So, but we just put our different spin on things. We still have our pirate theme and, and uh, all of our uh, articles that- What's the story with the pipes? Well, we, we chose to do something different with pirates because the original, the originators of barbecue were pirates that landed on these islands that the only choices of food were turtles, sea turtles, and fish. So they made these, they erected these big fires of smoking the meat, smoke drying the meat. So that lasted, and they, they heavily salted, they heavily cured the meat that lasted for weeks and months on the ship. 
So instead of getting a fish or a sea turtle that will last three or four days and spoil this meat that they smoke on these barbecue lattices would last for a long time. So that's what cured the meats and, and kept food fresh on the, on, the, on the boats for many months. So we, we said, let's go with that theme and have fun with it. And, and it never gets old. Kids love pirates, adults love pirates. Right. So these are from, these are old, old smoking pipe from old sea captains. That's what we, uh, that's our design here. Okay. <laughs> that's why we have all the sea captains up here that are sort of uh, the protectors of our restaurant. Okay. <laughs> So it's pretty cool. Like, yeah, of course, when they, you know, they come out movies like Pirates of the Caribbean and stuff, it probably just helps matters out. Oh, for sure it does. We love of course it. it does. Oh, we love it. So, but that, but they've, they've they've had so many movies, it just keeps on going. Right. So we just yeah, we play on those characters. We have fun here. Uh, we uh, we like to play the Pirates movie here, but there's probably a, uh, probably some copyright issue. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Some type of crazy. Hey, Jess, does Josh have the key to the side here? Let me grab a key. I'll see if I grab a key. I'll open that door for you guys. Yeah, so this should be done in about three weeks. Nice. So we'll have uh, some crazy uh, crazy shapes that we're making, and hand it ice cream, we're close, cotton candy. Lots of fun stuff. But just stay away from the walls because I think the drywall was just done. I, I understand. Yeah, we'll stay like right here. Yeah. This is where this is what we're gonna be. Okay. So you're gonna order your, your, order your ice cream over here. This is all gonna be seated over here. So, that is the first VT. The first no one's, no one's been allowed over here yet. Oh. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. That is. So yeah, we're having fun. We're having fun with it, and uh, you know, just at a time where I think I, I can relax a little bit, I uh, go put up an ice cream store. So, but it's okay. I'm still young. I can handle. It. I can do. It. Right, right now, fun. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. I definitely appreciate your time. This oh, of course, of course. You guys hungry? Um, I'm always. Hungry. Let's make you guys some lunch. I want to make sure. Right on. Big Hoffa's Barbecue. So you said Big Hoffa's is the place we go for barbecue? Indiana's Barbecue House. Yes. Let's go. Stop by 800 East Main Street, downtown Westfield, Indiana. Open Tuesday through Sundays. Check online for specials and delivery is available. BBQIndianapolis.com find us on Facebook. Go to thefundedproject.com to learn more. And if you are a small business in need of help, we want to hear your story. The world needs to hear your message. Thefundedproject.com. Together, we can save Main Street.